I have some strips of tiger maple that I'm going to uh, join together to form the drawer fronts for this piece. But before I can join them together, the first thing I need to do is flatten one face and plane them to thickness. So after planing to thickness, I have two flat faces. So now I can go ahead and form a nice straight edge that's uh, 90 degrees to one of the faces and then join two pieces together to form the drawer front. So next I'm working on the drawer sides and my wife told me that she wants drawer sides that are roughly a half inch thick, which means I pretty much don't have a choice. So, uh, so I'm going to take this four quarter piece of uh, lumber, which is just over an inch thick. It's about 1.1 inches. I'm going to flatten one face and square up one edge and then see if I can resaw this right down the middle and see how close I can get to uh, two half inch wide, half inch thick drawer sides. Before I flatten the face, I'm going to edge joint one side and then rip it to rough width. The capacity of my joiner is only six inches and this board is eight inches wide. So I'm gonna overhang my joiner by about two inches and face joint as much as I can and then take the remaining amount uh, down to the face jointed portion with a hand plane. With the face jointed and hand plane side down, I'll just run it through the planer and make the opposite face parallel to the first. So after resawing these boards in half, I went ahead and face jointed one side and used the same technique again with the hand plane, and now I'm just planing them to the thickness. Now that I have the drawer sides all face jointed and planed to final thickness, I need to go ahead and rip them to final width. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and rip the drawer fronts to find a width as well. Now that I have all the dovetails cut, I can go ahead and make the groove that receives the plywood bottoms. The drawer backs are going to be glued into a dado on each side, so I'm going to make those dados now at the table saw. So with a chisel, I made a notch in the back of each drawer front to receive a drawer runner. The runner was half lapped and it just sits right in this notch that I created and this will be glued in. At the table saw sled, I'm gonna nibble away a little section in the back of each drawer to receive the drawer runner. Now with my crosscut sled, I can finally cut the plywood for the bottoms of the drawers. Now I need to make a half inch groove in the bottom of all my drawer guides so that they're able to slide onto a mating half inch rail in the case of the TV stand. I'm going to rip a couple ledgers that will be used to support the drawer runners. These will just get glued in place.
When I cut a large sheet of plywood, I always like to first cut it to rough dimensions in length and width. Then when it's more manageable, I like to take it to its final dimension. Now I need to rip some strips of cherry for the plywood edge banding. In order to flush my edge banding down to the surface of the shelf, I'm just going to use a laminate trimmer with an edge guide and a mortising bit. Before I can put the shelf in, I need to make a few biscuit slots along the rails that the shelf is going to rest on for a few tabletop hold down fasteners. The plywood edge banding on the sides of the shelf was glued on after the plywood was slid into place. Well, that's all I got this time, guys. I hope you guys will come back next week when I finish the top, make the drawer pulls, and put a finish on this piece. Thanks for watching.